Yep, I don't want to go any uh, more for the magnification. If you don't think I'm going to do a comprehensive uh, video or uh, whatever for the Russians, you're out of your flipping head. Just due to the fact I've been playing this game, I think about, it's getting close to, or it's around two and a half years now, I think. Um, so I finished. Like I said, I'm going to do it, but I'm jumping ahead here because I just was like, I've been, I knew this spot. I was like, oh, the Russians are trying to make sure that um, the Germans, Austro-Germans, will never be able to cross the Itzanka here. And I was like, oh, I know it yet again, talking about being gamey. It's like, oh, I certainly want to get across here. And I was like, okay, can I weave a narrative into this gaminess? And I was like, I certainly want to get across here. The problem is, is that these are Austro-Hungarian troops. Yes, I understand. They're under control of the uh, the Vorsch army here, which is German. And remember, it was, uh, I think it was uh, everything west of the Visloka is under... Um, uh, German control, regardless of uh, what your nationality is. So I was like, yeah, but do they really want to like jump across here? Because I can't help them out. I can't bring in reinforcements. These guys all have like a movement value of four, and with these in and out of zones and control, you can look at home. Nope, one. Nope, nope. See, so that's yeah. Screw it. He's screwed. So there's no way I can do it. Um, so they're by themselves. So whoever were there, it's like, okay, you're going to be by yourself and I'll try to, you know, slink on a little conveyor belt of troops over to here to help you out for the line of communication and supply. And the gaminess is, I know for a fact, the Russians can't counterattack due to the fact that there's going to be, well, it's the end of the game. They don't have another turn. But I don't, I'm not into that. I don't like it. So I looked and I was like, lo and behold, lo and behold, these guys, BG-24, under the German Vorsch Army here, due to the Katowice uh, Conference Agreement, these guys are the first Hotzendorf Division. They're um, uh, kind of like a stripped-down version of the uh, Festung Divisions. They still have the logistical headache of a division, but they're only two strength points. That's it. They're like this, uh, uh, like a uh, even a, like the uh, equivalent of a Russian brigade. However, um, they still have to. You still have to deal with all their logistical support issues. It's just they're not very combat effective. They're garrison troops. They're just recently uh, trained. They've never been brought into this. However, they're the first Hotzendorf. Uh, uh, infantry division and I went okay so I'm trying to pretend that the uh, the general and everybody around here well they're part of the I'll have to take a look I'm not I haven't set them up yet but I'm gonna roll for this now because I've just been I'm so excited um, so they're gonna what well, they're going to do it um, whether or not they succeed is another thing and it's like hey wait a minute the Russians aren't allowed to counterattack shush um, so they're going to uh, try to cross the Zanka and I've decided to do, yet again, sticking with the die six uh, universe for this thing, even though I'm not a, yeah, it's a, you know, you just gotta play with it. Say, so if I roll, if I roll a one or the dice tower, whatever, I'm gonna go take a look at the board game fray because I really want them to get across. Um, as long as they don't roll a one or a two, they're, uh, they get across the Zanka. So that's not bad. So one is, they um, they try to get across and they uh, take they suffer a, a hit. Uh, two they just don't get across. Uh, three, uh, four, or five they do get across, but they take a hit. So they what do they call it? Uh, they pay their bill. And six uh, no hits. But I just want to give these guys um, like a certain um, what do you call it? Uh, you know, like a certain badge or something. I don't. Well, it may not happen. Hold on here. What was I going to go do over there? Oh yeah, take a look at the board game very quickly. Alright. Well I, well, I left it up to that, didn't I? Hold on, I'm going to do another thing. Because I'm like superstitious beyond belief right now. Holy cow. Because I so don't, but come on man. Let's see what you see. I just have to see. 
I have to bring it something more so you guys see the hole on something like that. Mm. Actually, it's just rail stuff. What was that? Hold on. I'm almost there. Nope. Not even close. Hmm. I don't need to. Oh, oh, I had it. I think. How's that? Let's go with that. I'm hitting some counters, but, you know. Okay. Come on, man. Come on, man. Oh, it's cocked. I can't do that. Like, as in, it's uh, sitting on counters, which is, uh, you know what I mean? It's causing an angle. Let's hope for the best, guys. A six! A six! A six! Sorry, that's like the ultimate, ultra best. So, the first Fastung division. I'm going to put them here. Just remember this. They do cross the Atzanka. It's going to be like a super ultra extra narrative I get to pop, pop in later on. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, this is awesome. Where did you go come from? Oh, because you're just the uh, the Army HQ. No, there's no way you're there. Uh-uh. Doesn't make any sense. I'll have to go and take a look where you were. Well, well let's see if my record keeping is... <laughs> No, this should be like a funky... Oh, no, 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 because I haven't put the supply points in yet. But there? That just seems weird. No, it'd be on a rail thing. That makes sense. Okay, then. I'll shush. Um, wow! So that means the first Fistung... Uh, sorry, Fistung. My god. The first Hotzendorf Infantry, Infantry Division uh, will have crossed the Atzanka. Neat. I like it. Okay, see ya, man. Hope you're doing well.